So I tested positive for COVID yesterday. <laughs> Raquel here I still feel awkward I got a question do y'all ever like be feeling awkward when you just be talking to the camera <laughs> like it's like I know I'm doing this for my audience but it's like I be feeling so weird just talking to a camera like <laughs> anyway um it's just like are you talking to yourself like <laughs> I don't know these are the thoughts that be popping in my head it's like i'm trying well ain't no trying i am i'm being me like i'm honestly just like a goofy individual um and i laugh at everything i'm just like i'm a happy person <laughs> like, um but honestly i can't remember the last time i have had a conversation with y'all what's going on what's been happening what's going on with life how has things been you know, fill me in, comment down, tell me how how has things been this year for you personally. You know, I know somebody with all this COVID going on, some people is like, oh, it's been terrible. This is that and the third happening. Other people like me, you know, look at it as a blessing in disguise. Like, you know, got to accomplish a lot of things that I wasn't able to in the past because 2020 has made me sit my black ass down and you know, do it. Um, so me personally, it's a blessing in disguise. But no, before we even get into all that good chatting and stuff, um, I come bearing news. <laughs> I'm laughing through it. Um, it's not it's 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 the news isn't great, but um, you know, either way, I'm I'm blessed. Um, so I tested positive for COVID yesterday. Um, yes, yes, your girl got COVID, but, but first off, I'm doing great. I feel wonderful. I can still show y'all. I can still, mm. <laughs> I can still move. I'm, I'm still energetic. I feel wonderful. So I feel great. I feel fine. Um, let's start there. Secondly, um, dang, I lost my train of thought. Uh, yeah, first I feel fine. Secondly, my symptoms are very mild. That's what it was. Okay. But first of all, I feel perfectly fine. Secondly, my symptoms are very mild. Um, the only real symptoms I have for real is my loss of taste and my loss of smell. Uh, I can't smell anything and I can't, I can, I can vaguely taste stuff. So I'm going to give an example, for instance, cough drop. Me, my favorite cough drops are Ricola's. Um, so I can taste this. I don't know if anybody's had Ricola before, the, like the lemon herb one. I can taste the little square one. I can taste the sweetness of the Ricola. I just can't taste the flavor itself. Um, so I can taste if something is sweet or if it's salty and if it want to be good. Like I have bought some lemon pepper rotisserie chicken from Fiesta. And for those who may not know what Fiesta is, if you come to Texas, Fiesta is just a grocery store. Um, a very cheap grocery store with great prices. Uh, <laughs> but... I had bought some lemon pepper rotisserie chicken from Fiesta and I tasted it yesterday and it tasted like it wanted it it wanted to taste so good to me. It wanted to taste so good to me. I could tell that that thing was good, but I could not taste the flavor. <laughs> I tried so hard, but I just could not taste the flavor. Um, You know, I'm oh, sorry. Y I just got out the shower. So if y'all see this white stuff in my hair, it's because I just got finished putting all this moisturizer in it and stuff. But yeah, I could not taste the flavor of it. So yeah, but I could tell that it wanted to taste good. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, yeah, but my symptoms are very mild. Uh, I, I don't know if y'all can hear it. I'm a little, little congested. Uh, one of my nostrils 
uh, be getting a little stuffy here and there. Um, but other than that, I can breathe fine. Um, I'm moving fine, thank God. I'm very blessed for that. Um, and so far, and I'm happy that so far the people I have came in contact with um, when I was unaware, they have been tested negative. So I'm very thankful for that. Um, I'm just sad because y'all, I miss my dog. I miss Coda and I can't even play with him because I don't want him to be exposed to it either. So, you know, I just, I miss my baby, but it's okay. Um, anyway, <laughs> I just wanted to come up here and tell you all um, what's going on with me. Um, keep me in your prayers. Um, I know I'm gonna be fine. I know I'm gonna be perfectly okay, but please keep me in your prayers. Also, um, a lot of people been like asking me like, well, where did you get it from? Where did it come from? Honestly, y'all, I have no idea. I have no idea. Like it's one of three places I could think I could have gotten it from. But honestly, if we're being technically, if we're being technical, you can really get it from anywhere. Like you can walk past the person and get like, it's, you never know. It's just, you really have to be careful out there. Um, and one thing I do want to get this disclosure for those who, for I do want to give a disclosure. If you have to go to the dentist, um, if you absolutely have no choice but to go to the dentist, go to the dentist. But if you can hold off from going to the dentist, I would personally say to hold off. Um, because when you go to the dentist, you are really exposing yourself uh, to the virus. Like you're really exposing yourself because you have to realize when you go to the dentist and they're working on your mouth, your mouth is wide open. Your nose is wide open. My mouth and my nostrils were wide open. And you got to realize there's other people in the dentist who's also getting their mouth worked on. And some people may not know that they're carrying it. So if that person is carrying it, it could be asymptomatic. But if that person is carrying it and they're getting their mouth worked on, all of the all of their particles and stuff is floating in the air and it could land. And then when they're working on it, you all know when you go to the dentist, it's like one room beside the other. Um, but yeah, and it's like all of that is like floating in the air. So as you're getting your mouth worked on, the particles could just float around you. So it's, that was just a disclosure. So just letting you know, if you have to go to, if you have no choice but to go to the dentist like me, I really didn't have a choice because my tooth was decaying. And if y'all know about tooth decay, y'all know tooth decay make your breath start to stink and don't nobody want no stinking breath. So I had to go get my teeth done. Um, I had to. And, if, and then I had a root canal, it was getting worse. And I didn't want that pain, that uh, tooth pain, a tooth pain is a different type of pain. Like that, that is a pain like no other pain. Uh, yeah, that, I didn't, I didn't want to deal with that. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know what's going on. As far as um, my content goes um, with YouTube, with my acting, my monologues, I'm going to try my best. Uh, I'm going to try my absolute best to push it out as much as possible. Um, but I'm going to be honest with y'all. It's, it's not impossible, but it is going to be a challenge. Um, I want to buy an iPad stand, but I'm going to be honest with y'all. Your girl has bills to pay. I just paid rent plus utilities plus like, and then coming up is my car note and stuff. So I'm going to have to hold off. Hopefully I get that for Christmas. <clears throat> Just saying, I would love an iPad stand for Christmas. So, but I'm gonna work with what I have. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna. I'm gonna use. So I have my office with all my stuff in it, but I'm gonna use this um to help me record to stand my iPad on, so I can record. Um, let me show you. This is what I'm using to help me record. Um, so. Unfortunately, what I can record is very limited because one, I don't have the iPad stand and two, I'm not about to spend unnecessary money on the iPad. No, though it is necessary. This is like the portion where you be going back and forth. Have y'all ever went back and forth with yourself? Anyway, I can't, regardless, I spent too much money so far. So I'm not buying an iPad stand right now. This is my iPad stand for right now. So what I can record is going to be very, very limited, um, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, I'm going to 
try my best because like I said, my cameraman can't be here to help me record, obviously. So I'm really doing this by myself, seriously. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I just want to tell you guys what's going on to let you guys know that if y'all don't see me post anything or nothing like that, it's not because I don't want to. It's just what I can post is just very, I'm very limited to what I can post. So I'm going to try my best. I will try my best. I definitely will try my best. But, you know, just going to have to wait and see. Going to have to wait it out. And I'm so sad, you guys, because I'm not even going to tell y'all what I was going to do because... It's okay because I'm going to still do it. You know, it's just the timing is going to be, the timeline is going to be a little off. But I'm going to still do it. I'm still going to do it. I'm not going to tell y'all what I'm going to do because it's none of y'all business yet. Y'all going to see what I'm going to do, but I'm going to still do it. <laughs> anyway, I pray and I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm doing perfectly fine. Just keep me in your prayers. But I promise y'all I'm okay. Um... I'm still goofy, silly old me. <laughs> I'm still moving. I'm still blessed. I'm still smiling because this is not going to defeat me. I am God's child, period. And no weapon formed against me will prosper at all. I'm strong and I trust God. So I'm not worried about it. I'm just, what I'm doing is I'm taking this opportunity to that where I'm home by myself without having to spend any money. I'm taking this opportunity to work on me and my craft and really expand on it more. So working out, get back into my workouts, just really focusing on the betterment of myself. So I'm fine. Don't worry. Don't stress. Uh, if you want to call me, call me. I got all the time in the world now. But uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in with me. And I pray y'all having a great day. Love y'all. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, go watch my monologues too if you haven't already, okay? Go watch my monologues.